Okay, so we've created a role within Ansible, but the next thing we're gonna be looking at is variables, conditions, and loops. If you've got any kind of background in programming, or you've done even basic programming like Python, or even Bash, then you'll possibly know what a variable is, but essentially, it's just a way of storing a bit of information that you can reference or use later on. And Ansible supports variables. And in fact, it comes with a lot of variables out of the box. Variables can also be more complicated types. So instead of just being A equals one, they can be lists of things. So A equals one and two and three, and then you can loop over that list. But they can also be another more complex type known as a map or a dictionary or a hash. So we're gonna look at variables in more detail and look at the more complex types that are available to us in Ansible. Then we're gonna look at conditions, right? So conditionals are very, very powerful. You will be using them a lot. Uh, and they're basically a way of implementing flow control within a playbook. And we'll see them in action in this section when we update our playbooks and update our roles in order to implement a bit of fine-grained logic. And then finally, in this section, we're gonna look at looping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some lists and maps that we can then loop over in our code, such as a list of users, or a map of users, or a map of packages, and so on and so forth. And it will just loop over that list and run the task repeatedly with that information for you. 